the word lesbian came into my vocabulary at around, I think, eight years. At the time, I was in a boarding school. And uh, according to how the other girls reacted, it wasn't such a good thing. One of the first negative things I heard about homosexuality was when the president of Zimbabwe described gay people as worse than dogs and pigs. And so at, it was at that point that I realized that there was something wrong, either with me or with the situation. About two-thirds of the countries in Africa still criminalize um, homosexuality. Um, blackmail um, and extortion of gay men and lesbians continues to be a huge problem. Of course, we are still violated in churches. One of the Archbishops of Rwanda, the, the famous Archbishop of Rwanda, Emmanuel Collins, one time uh, called homosexuality uh, immoral genocide. We don't have even respect for who we are because we believe that we are nothing. I have a friend up to now that I cannot convince that God loves you as you are. She lives with her partner, but in the absolute belief that she's going to hell. My relationship with God, I would say is fine. Um, my relationship with Christians, that's where I have a problem with. Because they are using the Bible, they are using God's name to discriminate, to discriminate us. The church leaders, uh, I would like to tell them, it's not, um, it's not their duty to judge us. Ask me how I live. Talk to me and I tell you. How do I relate with my God, the God that you talk about so much? How do I relate with him before you go proclaiming me a sinner? I just don't believe it's a problem for God. And, and we, we've, we've been in the church made into a huge problem for God, apparently. But I think the problem is with people. It's not God's problem. Amen, 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 amen.